Hey guys, what's happening? And thanks for stopping by. So tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about Empedagore. Uh, if you haven't seen this one, this is an Indonesian horror film. Came out last year in 2019, and it's uh, currently streaming on Shudder. Uh, it's about this uh, young woman named Maya. Uh, she's a uh, toll booth attendant uh, working at night. And uh, she's talking to her best friend, Denny, on the phone uh, while she's working. And a, uh, a car comes through that's driven by a man that uh, Maya is convinced has been stalking her over the past several days. And, of course, Denny tells her that, you know, she's imagining things that, you know, he's just doing, you know, uh, going to work, things like that. No big deal. Uh, but when the guy pulls over and gets out of his car, uh, she gets really freaked out. He comes up to the window and he starts saying things to her and then uh, ultimately he tries to kill her. So obviously she's able to get away from this, uh, otherwise we would have a very short movie. Uh, but the things that he says to her gets her to thinking uh, because she was raised by her aunt uh, ever since she was a very young girl. Uh, her parents died uh, when she was young. And she starts going through some of her aunt's things, looking, you know, for some of this information that this guy was talking about, and ends up uh, thinking that she might actually have come from a rich family, and that if she goes back to the village where she was originally from, uh, she might be able to inherit the family house and, you know, maybe some money and some other things. So she's pretty down on her luck. Uh, you know, she just works as a toll booth attendant, doesn't have a whole lot. So anyway... Uh, she and Denny end up going to this village uh, where Maya was originally from. And uh, that's where things get a little crazy. So um, don't want to give away uh, a whole lot uh, for anyone that uh, hasn't seen the film already. Um, but this one really started out well, I thought. Uh, the opening uh, sequence was pretty good. And, uh, you know, when they get to this village, uh, they find out, you know, that uh, basically there's a curse on this village, and um, because of that, it, it focuses around uh, Maya's family is where uh, the villagers believe uh, that this curse started. So um, if they were to know who Maya actually is, uh, she would be in danger. And of course, you know, that information does eventually get leaked out, and uh, they're having to basically uh, fight for their lives uh, trying to, to get out of this village. So uh, that's the, you know, the basic idea of what this film is about. And like I said, it started off uh, pretty good. Um, it's able to build up some pretty good atmosphere. Uh, it's definitely got some very tense moments in it. Um, the, uh, the only thing that I would say that, uh, that brings this film down a little bit is the fact that the story itself uh, is kind of, you know, cliche. It, it's something that we've seen in, you know, any number of horror films. Uh, you know, where you have a, a main character that is, uh, you know, basically delving back into their past and finding out that, you know, there were things that were going on that they weren't aware of, and uh, that develops into a, you know, a pretty dangerous situation for them. So, uh, it's, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's just something that we've seen done, you know, a lot of times before. Uh, maybe with not this exact same, you know, details or whatnot. But the basic idea has definitely be do been done many, many times. Um, but like I said, uh, you know, this film does uh, does have some merit to it. Uh, it's very well shot. Uh, the acting is pretty convincing. Um, her friend Denny is kind of a, a humor relief in this film. Uh, she's got a, a pretty... Uh, uh, you know, funny uh, way about her, the way that she says things, you know, some of the things that she says. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, you know, kind of offsets some of the seriousness in the film. Uh, and I enjoy that kind of thing uh, from time to time. Uh, so it, it definitely uh, was able to hold my interest. Um, there is a twist because, you know, there always is in these kind of stories, or at least there are most of the time that, uh, you know, things are not the way everybody thinks that they are, and then when the truth finally comes out, uh, you know, that basically opens up a whole nother can of worms uh, that they have to sort out. So that's the kind of movie that this is. Uh, it's a thriller-type horror film. Um, you know, it's not so much, uh, you know, a scary film in a supernatural or, you know, creepy kind of way. Um, it's more of a, you know, like I said, a thriller, uh, people in danger type film. Um, so overall, I enjoyed this film uh, for what it was. 
Um, I don't consider it to be, you know, a great film. Um, and this is uh, from the director uh, who directed uh, Satan's Slaves, which is another Indonesian uh, film uh, that has a pretty good reputation uh, that I have uh, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, so I'm adding that one to my list uh, to watch, hopefully, here pretty soon. Uh, it's also available on Shudder. Uh, so I'll be looking for that review here pretty soon, because I've heard that it's uh, actually an excellent Indonesian horror film. Uh, so um, <clears throat> hopefully it will be better than this one, because uh, like I said, you know, while this one wasn't bad, uh, just its, uh, its average storyline uh, just kind of keeps it from being elevated uh, to something that I thought was like really, really good. Um, but, uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, if you want to check this one out, it's on Shudder, uh, it, I'll give it, uh, you know, a thumbs up, it's definitely above average, um, I was, uh, you know, captivated by it, especially at the beginning, um, it, you know, it didn't lose my interest at any point, um, but as it, as it goes through, um, I guess probably after, uh, the first act, maybe going into the second act, it did feel like it feel like it slowed down a bit and kind of lost a little the the steam and momentum that it had um, because it's uh, it's it's right when you know they start figuring out what's going on uh, it kind of it, it does kind of slow down a little bit it, it loses some of that tension um, but it, it able it is able to pick it up um, for the most part I don't think it gets back to the level um, that it was at previously um, but. Uh, but like I said, it's definitely above average. Uh, the ending is, uh, well, the, the actual ending to the film is not, uh, not too bad. Uh, it does kind of play out the way that you would think that it would uh, once the twist is revealed. So again, it's not overly original in that aspect. Uh, and then there's one final scene um, that, uh, I don't know, you'll either like it or you won't. I think it's kind of, I won't say that it's polarizing because it's not that important, um, but uh, some people I know don't like it when horror films end this way. Um, I'm kind of indifferent to it because it happens so much that I, I just don't really care <laughs> one way or the other. So, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, films that I really like in this way. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me all that, that much. Again, I'm not going to give it away for anybody that's uh, curious and wants to watch this film. Uh, but like I said, it definitely gets a thumb up from me. Uh, it's not a waste of time. It's pretty enjoyable. Uh, you know, it's definitely a, a way to kill. I think this one's about an hour and 10 minutes long. So it's a little out, a little, a little over an hour and a half. Um, but, uh, I think you'll be, uh, um, you know, entertained by it if you want to sit down and watch it. So, uh, Help me out, guys. Uh, let me know if you like this review by uh, clicking that like down below and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way you'll see all the other reviews I have uploaded. And uh, if you click that notification bell, YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new review. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you.